Good morning, it's your man Earl. It is day 89, Sunday morning, uh, mid-morning, and I want to greet you in the name of our most high God. Hope all is well. We are Illinois day eight on the self-quarantine, and today's brief uh, morning meditation is, I want to encourage you, do not separate worship of the most high God and those of us who do business or have uh, business interests. It is so easy uh, to try to separate the two. And I encourage you, they're not separated. When God looks at us, he looks at us from the whole package. And so, as you guys will know, we are in the middle of a three-part series on buy, sell, and trade. And I encourage you in this economic environment to look at having uh, a third and fourth income. And we're talking about buy, sell, and trade you know I'm an advocate of having your own business. I've been in business for myself now for over 25 years. Uh, that doesn't mean I've solely drawn all my income from being an entrepreneur, but I've been an entrepreneur for over 25 years. And if you want to go back to my childhood, I would say that uh, I've been an entrepreneur probably since uh, over 30 years. Me and my best friend, we had a lawn care business and we had over 50 yards and we were in seventh and eighth grade. So. If you want to go all the way back that far, I've been an, I've been an entrepreneur for over uh, 30 years. So with that being said, uh, we're going to talk about buy, sell, and trade, day two, part two. And today's anchor scripture is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 10. It says, diverse weights and diverse measures, both of them are alike an abomination unto the Lord. And what he's talking about here is we all know people that have different products and different prices for different groups of people. And as a entrepreneur, as a kingdom entrepreneur, you got to treat everybody the same. Okay. If you want to give one person a discount, then give everybody a discount within the framework of why you're giving that person a discount. But you can't be price uh, gouging and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But as you guys will see, you got, we got the pink God can here. We have the purple God can here with the hats and things available. So I can't give out one quality of t-shirt for one group of people and then come back around and give out a cheaper quality t-shirt for another group of people. So when you order my gear, my gear's top notch, all right? I don't have different weights and balances for different groups of people, all right? That is an abomination unto the, unto the Lord, and the Lord looks highly upon that as a negative thing, okay? So... Buy, sell, and trade. I'm going to give you, what was it, one, two, three, four, what, five different things really quickly about buy, sell, and trade. Uh, if you're going to do and get into buy, sell, and trade, you need to look at look into eBay, okay? eBay, and it, it, these are just general descriptions, okay? So why do you get on eBay? eBay is if you want to try to get the highest price for your goods or items, all right? And you can afford to sit on the money. So if you put something on eBay, you put it on there, people bid for it, and it may take two to three weeks to get the highest price. So if you want to get into that kind of buy, sell, and trade, get on eBay, okay? The next one is Craigslist, all right? Craigslist really is for the intense uh, localized market. A lot of people have been sleeping on Craigslist because of, of the next two I'm going to mention, but I strongly consider don't overlook uh, eBay and don't overlook Craigslist. All right. The third one is Amazon. Of course, we all know Amazon is the global player when it comes to buy, sell, and trade. So get on Amazon if you have product that can feed the world, meaning that you can get involved on with a global uh, marketplace. Not saying that eBay can't do that. Not saying that Craigslist can't do that. But I am saying that if you want to get involved on the on the global tip, or at least service your whole country for sure. You got to get on Amazon, all right? Then the third one is uh, Facebook Marketplace. The reason why I like Facebook Marketplace is because Facebook Marketplace really uh, lets you list your products in specific categories, okay? Not saying that the other three can't do that, but what I'm saying is, is you can literally jump on the Facebook and type in a certain product with a certain city with a certain zip code, and you're right there, okay? And it also gives you an opportunity to look at the person who is selling it. And that's key to most people, okay? And then the third one, or the fourth one, is uh, Poshmark. Now, Poshmark is really for boutique clothing. So, like I said before, yesterday's video, if you're going to get into buy, sell, and trade, 
You might start out doing everything and then you have to develop your niche, which is okay. Do that. It's going to take you three to six months to develop your niche. Basically, I, I say a whole year. That's why I tell people, listen, start your business while you have a job, uh, while you're in college, while you're in high school. Figure out what you like. Figure out what you would do for free is what I like to tell people. When I go into a consulting project, I ask them three questions. I said, where do you want to live at? Number two, uh, what would you do for free? And then uh, number three, who do you consider somebody that you're responsible for? Meaning that if you have responsibilities for other people, you have to think about what you're doing and how that responsibility affects how you want to live the rest of your life. So, day 89, once again, buy, sell, and trade. Part two went over eBay, went over Craigslist, went over Amazon, went over Facebook Marketplace, and went over Poshmark. These are one, two, three, four, five quick platforms that you can buy, sell, and trade. And then here is the extra credit, okay? You need to have your own website. Even though you list items on other platforms, ultimately you want people to come back to your website to order. Case in point, I have a sauce company and I have a customer that lived in the Quad Cities. And then what happened is during that time period, uh, somehow their computer crashed or somehow something happened and they were not able to get on their their Facebook or they weren't able to get on the internet. The bottom line is uh, all they had was my old store number in their cell phone, okay? And this is why I tell people, get your own website that you pay 10, 25, 35 bucks a, uh, a year for. And the second piece is get a phone number, okay? All they had was a phone number. Now, they could have Googled me, but they didn't have that at the time. They were in, in between residences. They were actually moving from the Quad Cities to Phoenix. So they were snowbirds for years, and then they finally sold everything, and they relocated. And all they had at the time was their phone number. Computer wasn't up yet. They didn't have internet service where they were at. So they called my old store number, which is my sauce company number, and they called me. They made an old school order over the phone, okay, which leads me to my second point. Uh, of extra credit. First extra credit is get your own website or platform. Get your own website, okay? Get your own business, whether you're, you're buying, selling, whatever. Get your own website so people can find you. Extra credit number two is get yourself a phone number if you can afford it, all right? Get your own phone number. Why? Because you want people to be able to reach out to you directly. And then the third piece of extra credit after you look at all these platforms, you have a website, you have a phone number, Make sure you have a business email because you don't want people uh, talking to you on your personal stuff when you're doing business, okay? That gets to be a real pain. That way, when you go on vacation or you want to shut down for the night, you don't, you're not having your phone is not going off every 25 to 30 minutes because you have a business email coming through or even a business phone call, okay? It's your man Earl, day two. Part two of buy, sell, and trade here in the laboratory. Once again, got the purple god can, got the pink god can. We got the pink hats, got the red skull caps. Uh, we're getting it in this brisk uh, Sunday morning. As you can wear, see, I got my short sleeves on. I'll throw something over this though before I leave the house. Got the slate gray god can as well. All t-shirts. We have white, black, athletic gray, slate gray, and now we have the pink and the purple. They are available small through. 6x dm for prices we take cash app as well as paypal god bless you god keep it and remember proverbs chapter 20 verse 10 says this okay diverse weights okay and diverse scales all right the lord don't like that i'm putting it in plain language the, listen the lord don't like that all right Diverse weights, diverse scales are an abomination unto the Lord. Some Bibles say they're detestable. The Lord don't like that. So whatever you sell, make sure you have the top quality for everybody and treat everybody fairly. Charge the right prices. It's your man Earl. God bless you. God keep you. Peace. Click the links below. Follow us on our social media. And once again, hey ladies, got the pink and the purple God can. Peace.